Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Do you remember the Sora model from OpenAI which was released few months back? That was one of the most performant text to video model ever created. Since then, there have been a lot of efforts from other companies from the open source community to launch an alternative of OpenSora and I highly encourage and support those activities because no one likes a monopoly. But the fact of the matter remains that so far, still, Sora is the leader of the pack. And that is why when I stumbled upon this yet another effort on this existing project which is called as Open Sora Plan has been released. And this also aims to either compete or defeat Sora model by a wide margin. It's still, I'm not, I don't think it is still able to do so, but the way they are going is quite encouraging. Anyway, instead of com you know comparing both of these, let's try to see what exactly this model is and then we are also going to try to install it on our local system. The reason why I'm saying try because I am using one GPU card H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM. Now these text to video models are quite hungry. I have covered this open Sora in the past and I'll be very transparent it was not really working that well or hardly at all on one GPU. So I believe, uh, and that makes sense that for all the text to video model, you would need multi GPU setup. If you have been following my channel, you know that I already have covered a lot of text to video models so much so that even I just did one this morning and one was yesterday. And even with 80 GB of v VRAM for six second video, we were really struggling. Anyway, we will see how that goes. But more importantly, let's try to first review what this model is and then we will try to get it installed. First up, if you read through the first three lines, they are quite funny. So they are saying this project aims to create a simple and scalable repo to reproduce Sora open AI, but we prefer to call it closed AI. Well, I will let you decide whether it's a fair statement or not. Of course, when it comes to the source code, data set, yes, nothing is available anyway. But another thing is that they are quite easy to use. If you are just want something to be done without worrying about what is underlying technology and whether it is free or not, then that is a go to. But anyway, so what is this open Sora plan model? So this model um, not only gives you an option to create videos from text very simply, but also it gives you complete access to training and inference through their GitHub repo. And I will share the link in video's description. If you have a quick peek at their architecture, this um, model is a video diffusion model based on 3D attention and joint learning of spatio-temporal features and also this new version introduces a new sparse attention architecture instead of a 2 plus 1d model 3d attention can better capture joint spatial and temporal features as you can see in this diagram also this model is quite high performance causal video v but with fewer training costs which means that when it goes from latent space to pixel space it is faster and of good performance so it is also capable of compressing videos by 256 time and also causal convolutional support simultaneous inference of images and videos but only need one node to train so one node to train but not doesn't mean one gpu anyway and you can read through the requirements on their um, model card and i will drop the link in video description so let me take you to my terminal where we are going to start installing it and see how it works before i do that let me introduce you to mast compute they are the ones who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video so huge thanks to them they are also running a hackathon this month and this is the last week where i will be one of the judges so you can submit your llm generated text and video and images to that hackathon and you stand a chance to win free gpu credit i will drop the link in video description Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU. So do check them out. Okay, so let me show you my terminal where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04. And I have this one GPU card with 80 GPU of VRAM H100 courtesy mass compute. Okay, let me clear the screen. First up, 
let's git clone the repo of open sora plan and the good thing is that in this repo they provide all the source code for training inference and all that stuff surprisingly for python version they use quite an old version of python as you can see i'm creating this virtual environment with conda and i'm using python 3.8 so which is uh, which was a bit interesting and uh, really surprising for me anyway so you see that my open source environment is done let's install some of the prerequisites in editable format this is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it So these prerequisites are done. Let's also install some of the optional ones like static type checking and stuff. This shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Next up, we need to download the model. For that, either you could go to Hugging Face and download it manually, or you could log into Hugging Face by using this Hugging Face login, grab from your um, grab your Hugging Face read token for free from Hugging Face website put it here something as i'm doing here just press y and login should be successful as you can see towards the end next up let's download the model and all we need to do is to just create maybe a local directory here i'm just maybe i'll go one step back and i'll say my model here and then i'm just going to run this command to download this model this is the whole repo name from hugging face the language bind open sora plan with the version and this is my local directory and let's run it and you can see that it has started downloading that model locally so the speed looks good let's wait for it to get downloaded and then we will proceed further and the model is downloaded let's clear the screen let me quickly show you the size of the model at the moment so 37 gig is still there but that is not the end you would also need a text encoder separately first i thought i could use a flux uh, t51 but it really it's not doesn't pr produce good a video so then i um, researched and i stumbled upon this mt5 double xl from google so this is around 51 gig of size so we also need to download it from with the same process so i have copied this repo name let's go back here and then similarly i am using this hugging face seal i download with that google's repo and then i am downloading it and you see there is close to 52 gig so make sure you have that much space on your system and that is why when you combine uh, this much text encoder with a model that goes beyond 80 gig of VRAM. So that is why I was referring to it that even on one GPU card, it's not possible, you know, it struggles to run it. But anyway, let's wait for it to get downloaded and then I will try to run it to show you. If it doesn't work, apologies, but if it does, uh, we'll see how it goes. Even if it runs, I think it is going to be very, very slow. And it is going to take a bit of a time that download speed is a bit slow. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source. AgentQL, um, with its Python SDK and live debugging tool, you can scrape and interact with web content. AgentQL works on any page, it is resilient, it is reusable and it structures the output according to the shape of your own query. I will also drop the link to their website in video description, check them out and let me know how you go. Okay, so let's go back to a terminal and see what is happening there. Still it is running, it is going to take a fair bit of time, around half an hour, maybe more. So let's wait. The text encoder is almost downloaded as you can see here and it has taken around 35, 34 minutes around 51.7 gig and if i just quickly take you back to the my model directory here you see we have prompt refiner we have text encoder we have v which is variation auto encoder that converts the images from pixel space to latent space so latent space to pixel space and back and then this is our actual model and this is i believe image to video model if we need to but i'm more interested in text to video to see how it goes i'm not sure if it will work but let's see 
let's go back to the terminal to see where we are okay so that is already done that is cool okay so if i quickly do ls dash ldr to check the files yep everything is there so let's go to my model directory just to make sure everything is there yes everything is there and now let's go to open source directory and in order to run it all you need to do is to run this command where if you look at it we are just uh, starting this uh, gradio web server from the root of the repo we are specifying our model which we have just downloaded and then we are specifying our v or variational autoencoder then we are specifying the prompt refiner so all these th three things prompt refiner v and this model they are in this open sora plans repo on hugging face whereas we have to download this text encoder separately from google's the repo which i just showed you so let me run it let's see if it works or not or if it crashes so let's see and it is loading the model let's wait for it this is the moment of truth it might crash and just close the window but let's see it is loading the shards now let's see if they fit on my gpu okay so at least the shards have been loaded that is cool let's try to access this on my local host at port 11900 and there you go open sora plan is running and it is saying that it supports chinese and english at the moment this is a prompt which it is going to run so i'm not sure how i think i let me change it to dark theme so i just change it the theme to the dark i just added this double underscore theme is equal to dark on the url and now let me give it a prompt so i'm just going to maybe a simple one a kite flying in blue sky and then let's run it i think i'm just going to click on run and see what happens let's also quickly check the vram which is being used at the moment i'm just going to check it nvidia dash smi so you see it is using hmm, 34 gb of vram at the moment good stuff so anyway let's see what it generates let's wait for it to finish and come back and if you don't want to give your own prompt you can simply give your own by selecting it oh my god look at this how beautiful that is this is not bad at all that is good and i'm, I'm more happy that it, it has fit onto my gpu and these are some of the number of frames you can set and guidance scale simply dictates how closely the model is going to follow your prompt higher value which in this case is means more uh, prompt following and then these are the steps you can increase them for more better quality but there is a uh, point of diminishing returns and we just want to create one videos that is why it is one and 29 frames which is okay for this one and see it is just to add some noise in the diffusion process okay now let me give it a bit more uh, um, grounded and longer prompt to see what happens okay next up let me make it a bit bigger and then i will give another prompt here okay, this is much better so i'm going to ask it a drone flying over a serene beach at sunset waves gently lapping at the shore so let's see what it creates i will let it run for a minute so that you could also see so it's you see it is taking just under 30 seconds to do it while it generates let's check the gpu consumption so it has rose up to 40 gig when it runs for this let's do one more time yeah 40 gig it is just under 40 gig it is staying so make sure you have that much space and look at the quality it's a very short video i think just one second i'm not sure i could increase this maybe let me try to increase some uh, video length here so i have increased the number of samples to two and the prompt now is a time lapse of blooming garden so you see it doesn't increase that number of time but just the number of frames which we don't want really so i'm but still quite a good enough thing so if i just go down i think the bottom one is more beautiful there you go it's a time lapse how good is that really really beautiful okay now let's try out another one i'm saying a mountain bi biker racing down a rugged trail dust and rocks flying let's wait for it 
And look at this one, looks really cool. Good stuff. Let me try again. Nice. Okay, let's try to maybe have a human in the video properly. So I'm asking it to create a video of a close up of a stunning brunette girl laughing. Let's see what it does. And check this one out. Not bad. Bit. Uh, of course, it's not that. Um, how should I put it? Very, very high, you know, formation, but still not bad at all. Look at the sun as the sun goes behind her. Shadows are great. Look at the hue on the hair. Really good stuff. And she's sitting somewhere. There are cars parked outside. Very nice. So maybe I'll just say a sloth jumping up and down with a sign with text subscribe to channel. Let's see if it can write text in the video. So yeah, see it can't really write the text properly, but maybe with some control net and some other stuff when it's available in conf ui it might be able to but not at the moment okay so let's try one more i'm asking it a magical fairy flying through a whimsical forest sparkling lights trailing and there you go not bad that's cool nice okay let's try out one more in this one i am asking it that a spaceship landing on a futuristic neon lit cityscape alien landscape unfolding let's see oh wow look at the colors on this one not bad it is just one second but it give gives you the gist of it okay let's try out one last one so in this one i'm asking it a group of friends hiking through a vibrant autumn forest leaving rustling leaves And this looks so realistic. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Okay, towards the end, I eventually figured out to increase the uh, uh, number of the length of the video. So all you need to do is to just increase number of frames. I have bumped it up to 93. And now you see that it is now five seconds. And how good that looks. Look at the video. Yes, the humans are not that visible, but still good enough. Let me try to create a story. So it's a big prompt where I'm asking it that a young adventurer dressed in a worn leather jacket just sets on, on expedition. It's a start to end story. So I'm just maybe I'll just double it to uh, 300 and it is going to take a bit of a time. Like uh, I will tell you how much you see I have just started it. I'm going to time it. Okay, so it is just on. Sorry, I'll check. Can I stop it somewhere? Nope, I can't. So it is just staying at. Let me try to increase it once it comes back. So it seems that here the max you can go is 5 seconds with 93 frame. It doesn't move forward. But anyway, if you look at this video, even the human face is okay, not bad. And the rest of it is quite good. What is that thing? I have no idea what that thing is flying. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, but I think the prompt could be improved here. But all in all, really good stuff. And I'm more happy that now I can run this open Sora plan on my local system with 80 GB of VRAM. I don't think so anything less will do or otherwise it is going to be very, very slow. So if I show you my you see it is the vram has jumped up to around 53 gig uh, towards end so that's it guys let me know what do you think about this model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching